Whether you are a home gardener or first time gardener indoors, you can appreciate fine quality products. And this is a new release by Mars Hydro. Mars Hydro has been known for years for producing great grow lights, but this is the first time that they have gotten into the indoor desktop hydroponic line of gardens. Hydroponics is a great way to start. No dirt, no mess, fast growth, easy to take care of. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the Hydroline 12. Now, the Hydroline 12 has a 24 watt LED light, and that is on what's called their vegetative mode. It's a two mode light. Uh, the vegetative mode is a little bit cooler and the flower fruiting mode is 22 watts, and that's a little bit warmer spectrum. The lights both run on a 16-8 cycle, which is 16 hours of light on and eight hours off. In addition to growing things such as lettuce, radishes, herbs, you can grow tomatoes. Looking behind me, uh, here is a pair of microdwarf tomatoes. These are on the larger scale. On this particular unit, you could easily grow two microdwarf tomatoes that will uh, grow to about the size of a volleyball uh, on each side of the unit. As a matter of fact, you can go beyond that. And if you are taking cuttings of tomatoes or starting seeds uh, for tomatoes for outdoors, this is the perfect way to get started on your spring garden. The plant sites that you see on the top here have a plastic basket that drops inside of it, and it has a sponge, and that sponge has a little hole in the top of it for a seed. Now, you could uh, easily start seeds in a sponge like that, and when starting those out, you could just drop those in, they have humidity domes that are clear, and those help to hold the humidity level up during the first stages of seed growth, easy to lift off and away you go. The grow light at its lowest setting is 11 and a quarter inches. At its highest setting, it's 19 and a half inches. So that gives you room for a little bit larger plant. Now this is the cover for adding more water and you would just pour right into the uh, side here. And then about every two weeks, uh, put a little bit of uh, plant food. They have all the instructions in their manuals. Pod sits down into the unit. It has a massive six liter reservoir and a small pump that sits in the bottom. Now that pump has got a T section where the water pumps up and pumps left and right down the length of the garden. And that helps to churn those nutrients around, keep the uh, water from being stagnant. Now, this also has a window on the front of it, and that is for checking your water level so you can make sure that you could top it off. It has a safety feature that shuts the pump off after the water drops too low. The base of the unit has all the controls along the front edge. It has a transformer block that plugs into the back of the unit. It looks like this. If you're adjusting the lights, there's a wheel on the back that's real easy to loosen and lift, tighten wherever you want it, and that's as simple as it can get. I would suggest having this in a final spot before you fill it up all the way. Now, another quick suggestion is to have something such as a plastic watering can because it makes filling these much easier and the narrow spout on the end helps to uh, channel water through the opening when you're topping off water as well. So let's go ahead and add water. The unit does not include plant food, which is no big deal because most people tend to favor their own plant foods. With water in the reservoir, we will just pour this out I'm going to go ahead and set the uh, deck lid on. It's about nine and a quarter by 15 inches across. The uh, plant sites are 
three inches on the diagonal and about three and a quarter inches apart on the uh, horizontal. This is when you plug in the power. I would not suggest plugging in the power without the water in it because it will automatically kick on the lights and the pump and you don't want the pump to run dry. So I'll plug it in now. Let's take a quick close up look at what's going on inside that reservoir. There's the small pump that runs inside of the unit. That is the only apparatus that is inside. The water is streaming out both ends. And as mentioned, this does help to add gas exchange as well as nutrient mix and keep the water from being stagnant. It helps the plants to grow much more quickly, oftentimes referred to as circulating hydroponics. There's about 115 to 150 PPFD along the top of the unit. Underneath the light, you're going to be seeing anywhere between 300 and 425 PPFD. The daily light integral is going to be anywhere between 14 and maybe a little over 17 on the DLI. If you're looking for a lot of fun or if you're looking for a great gift for your indoor gardening friends, this would be a great one. Quick slice down the middle and the sides and opening it up. The first thing that you can run across is going to be the manual that comes on the uh, top. Once everything is out of the box, there are additional items, grow plugs, LED light, baskets, caps, power adapter. The reservoir just hits right on top of it. T-section that I uh, squeezed right on top of the pump. And all I have to do is uh, put this together. The base is just a push fitting. And there you have it. There's a convenient window that you can see through on the front of it that tells you how high the water level is. Twelve plant sites across the top. 